Hey guys, welcome back to the Imperial Theory, and after watching Season 7 of The Clone Wars and the release of the first four episodes of it, all with the Bad Batch's reckless strategies, the same question has gone around multiple times. Did the Bad Batch execute Order 66? Today I will hopefully answer that correctly and go over what I think will happen in the Bad Batch series. We have all wanted Dave Filoni and Star Wars to continue the Bad Batch's story, and Disney Plus and Star Wars have finally announced Coming in 2021 is the Bad Batch series. This series will continue the events after episode 1 through 4 of The Clone Wars, season 7 taking place right before Order 66 and possibly an episode or two of their adventure as possible stormtroopers or just what happens to them after Order 66. If you need more background info on The Bad Batch or Clone Force 99, watch my other video announcing The Bad Batch series and going through it, what happened to them before the events of when the Bad Batch series will take place, link in the description below. Once the Bad Batch show is released, every episode that comes out I will go over and review, so make sure to watch out for that. This show I'll most likely start right this show will most likely start right after the fourth episode of Clone Wars Season 7, so after the Star Wars title screen focusing on the planet Anaxis, which is the planet that the Bad Batch had just went on the mission with Captain Rex and Commander Cody to later discover about the mystery of Echo's death to reveal he's still alive, and recruiting him to the Bad Batch, seeing how he is what the Bad Batch members like to call irregulars. After revealing the planet Anaxis, the Bad Batch shuttle will appear taking off from the mission with Captain Rex and Commander Cody. It will then show Tech as being the smartest and most capable of the group pressing buttons accelerating into hyperspace. Wrecker will most likely be lifting that astromech droid that we saw in Season 7 using it as weights. With Crosshair and Tech in the cockpit, Hunter and Echo will be sitting down having a conversation, and Hunter will be reveal an extra suit that the Bad Batch has kept in store just in case. Echo will accept it and have to remodel by chopping off the arm to let his electric pipe out into the air. As in a deleted episode for Season 7 of The Clone Wars, they will most likely travel to Kashyyyk for their next mission, although Tech set the hyperspace to Coruscant. They would get a transmission from Kashyyyk from Yoda and Commander Gree requesting their presence at Kashyyyk. They will refuel back at the Jedi Temple, then take off for Kashyyyk. Once they reach with the Wookiees, they communicate with Yoda and Commander Gree, and most likely something will go wrong, such as the communication tower is down. The Bad Batch will be sent to fix the tower, but crossing paths with droids. By the deleted scenes of other Bad Batch episodes that we could have seen in the Clone Wars Season 7, Hunter seems to communicate with animals, which could be more or less in his range of feeling electric magnetic pulses, and this could mean he is able to control animals through the Force, or that could just be another one of his powers. That would be awesome to see Hunter's secret power of being able to communicate with animals on the sheep. I would say roughly the first three to five episodes is going to be the Battle of Kashyyyk, and episode five will basically be Order 66. Order 66 will have, will, was given to all clones who were still in the clone army and basically have communications with the Jedi Temple. This included Palpatine. I don't think we'll get a straight answer of this, of if they executed Order 66 until they show progresses and we get to the part where Palpatine executed Order 66, but I can say that the Bad Patch and Order 66 six, and Scar's squadron are all relates to each other. The main question about the Scar Squadron of, is of course the new members added to the team. Based off of the Scar Squadron images, I'm going to come out straight. Yes, they, the Bad Batch did execute Order 66. And here's how. What happened? Based off the star, Scar Squadron, we can see what looks like Hunter with a lightsaber on his belt, so the Bad Patch finished their mission on Kashyyyk, and they are needed once again and sent to another Jedi, but I don't have the exact name or the exact Jedi, and the Jedi needs help for whatever reason. And this is when it all goes down. Hunter will get a hologram call, such as every other clone does, from Palpatine request um, executing Order 66. Of course, the inhibitor ships are set off, all of them except for Echo because he didn't get the call. Everyone fires at the Jedi except for Echo, who didn't get the call from Palpatine. 
Palpatine was informed about Echo and his rebirth, so Palpatine wasn't prepared for that part of the Clone Wars and his entire plan. Echo runs away knowing he is in a match for them, so Wrecker starts chasing him, but never finds him. Echo runs back to the main base on that planet and uses his electric pike that was replaced for his hand and opens up the cargo bay and uses the electric pike to get into a, a Republic shuttle, which he will later use as an uh, Imperial shutter, shuttle in the series. For undercover, he flies He flies off, and while in hyperspace, the Bad Batch looks over the dead corpse of the Jedi, and Hunter takes the lights here, replacing it on his belt as a souvenir of killing a Jedi that we can still see him have as a stormtrooper in the new Scar Squadron instead of the Bad Batch or Clone Force 99, and he will use it later on in the series. Such as Ahsoka Tano, Echo hides in the underworld, picking up a few allies, and for at least five more episodes, we will be seeing Echo hide in the underworld, keeping the Republic shuttle hidden, and actually modifies his electric pike for a gun. These episodes will be taking place over the course of two months, and over these two months, he meets a rogue stormtrooper, an elite one too, hiding from the Empire as well, and Echo goes over all the events since Order 66 with the Stormtrooper, who is, of course, another clone with his inhibitor ship taken out. Based on images from the web, it seems like as Echo was staying low in the underworld, Hunter, Tech, and Crosshair seems to like killing rebels, and that was basically their job in the Empire. Echo would team up with the Stormtrooper, and they would find someone else to help, most likely a mechanic, and while getting back to the Republic ship, Echo, with his electric pipe, gets into the shuttle and codes the ship on scanners to be an Imperial shutter. Echo would also track down where the Bad Batch is staying, in this case, which Imperial Star Destroyer. And once they board, his Stormtrooper friend would come out of the shuttle and get two other Stormtroopers to help with mechanical, quote-unquote, mechanical problems aboard the shuttle. They would knock the Stormtroopers out, and Echo would take one of the armor, but the mechanical with a robot and doesn't accept it and requests to stay in the ship. Echo goes in and finds his lost friends except they have changed with different armor and Hunter still with the Jedi's lightsaber. They somehow knock out Tech, Crosshair, Hunter, and Trank Wrecker. They remove the inhibitor ships and when they wake, they board the shuttle and take off, explaining to the crew about what ha has happened. After probably the first season, it's all going to be similar to the show Rebels, such as hunting bounties, doing anything to stay off the Empire's Raider, but at the same time have money and food to stay alive, especially for Wrecker. In the second season, we might see the crew begin to think about decisions they've made in the past month, and they decide to not help out anyone and go rogue from the Empire and any other Rebels. They put back their... Stormtrooper armor on and start hunting rebels, gathering information from them about the Empire, then killing them, revealing their dark side, trying their best to destroy the Empire without any help. In this first season, while they're not hunting rebels, they meet up with Captain Rex and Ahsoka Tano and stick with them for a bit, then part ways later in season one. Later in season two, or most likely if they continue the series to more seasons, we could see a fight with Hunter and Luke Skywalker for the final season. Everything I just said I made up, uh, that was just my thoughts on how the Bad Batch series coming out to Disney Plus in 2021 will go. You don't have to believe anything I said. That's just my estimation on how the show will go. I'll most likely get most of that wrong, but I hope you found what you were looking for, such as if the Bad Batch executed Order 66, and in the story I just told they did, but I may be wrong in the Bad Batch series. My theories aren't always correct, but anyways, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this, and remember to comment any other Star Wars theories or videos I should do.